Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I want to believe you're doing good, I want to believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of USD card and what to expect from the market this week. If you're just coming across our videos, you're just coming across our channel, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Now let's start the analysis on the monthly time frame. On the monthly time frame, um, if you have been following our channel, you remember some months ago we did call our attention to the fact that the market had been ranging around this region for a couple of months, I think for about a year, it was ranging around this region. Then we did say that when the market ranges within a particular or specific support and resistance, and resistance region that you start looking out for a breakout and we did see that occur here the market broke out of this region and bought up to this region and we saw even the monthly time frame go pretty close to the overbought region and we said that the logical thing to expect after that is that the market will go bearish or it's going to sell so we saw the market started selling um last month and this is the month of november we could see the market so down here and and this is where the market is currently at now let's consider the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame you see this is the region where i said the market had been ranging for a pretty long time then it broke out of that region bought up to this extent and started selling so on the weekly time frame, you can see the market has been selling consistently for um, how many weeks? One, two, three, four, for four weeks, and it sold down to this region. Then two weeks ago, the market ended as a bullish Arami, which is a bullish reversal candlestick pattern. Um, this was two weeks ago, and we expected the market to go bullish. But of course, if you traded last week, you can remember that there was um, much indecision in the market. Remember last week was um thanksgiving in the u.s so there was less of banking activities in the market within last week there was not much volume in the market so we saw much of indecision within last week so we could see the market closed as a doji on the weekly time frame and let's see the daily time frame on the daily time frame you can see here um the market sold down to this region this became a resistance region you could see the market so th this day was bearish this was bullish bearish bullish and this was dodgy before the market but and of course like we said last week there was lots of indecision in the market then the last candle ended as a bullish candle so if we want to put these candles together we may want to call this a morning star which is a bullish reversal candlestick pattern and also notice here that the 10 day simple moving average that cross over the candlestick here and at this point it is below the close of the last candlestick now let's consider the four hours time frame on the four hours time frame you can see um within this region we could see indecision in the market um the market was buying at the time selling at another time there was not um a serious move in a particular direction so even the last candle the last two candles were quite small candles and of course here we saw the market go to the vaso region which is this region and of course we expected the market to start buying afterwards so what do we expect from the market this week that's what this video is about on the daily time frame we see the market close as a bullish candle and um, the 10 day simple moving average is about to cross over the candlestick which is a bullish entry trigger and we did say that if we put these candles together we could want to call this a morning star which is a bullish reversal candlestick pattern then the weekly time frame um, two weeks ago ended as a bullish arami which is a bullish reversal candlestick pattern and the next candle was a doji that last week of course we can safely say that um, the effect of this bullish arami has not fully played out for that reason, we're still expecting the market to go bullish this week. So, um, we're actually expecting the market to go bullish this week. That's a fact because um, we've seen 
Remember, the market range around this region broke out, got to the overbought region in the daily time frame, started selling, it sold till it got pretty close to the oversold region. After the market gets to the oversold, remember, oversold region, remember we've talked about this over and over again, when the market gets to the oversold region, you start looking out for um, a bullish reversal and consequently a bullish move. So, we saw this bullish reversal here, but it did not go far. Instead, the pullback and so down to this region. It not exactly come back to this region where we could say it made a double bottom, but of course it pulled back and we could only say it retested this region. You can see this region, it has retested this region and it ended as a bullish candle. For that reason, we're expecting the market to go bullish. Now on the overall, on the overall, we're expecting USD card to sell. Look at the monthly time frame. On the overall, we're expecting USD card to sell. That's a fact because the monthly time frame has got into the overbought region. So we're expecting markets to sell, but the the buy that we're expecting this week is a retracement. So we're expecting it to buy at least till it comes in contact with the 10 day simple moving average on the weekly time frame, which should happen um, around this region. We should happen around this region so we're expecting the market to buy till about that region let's look at it on the daily time frame so you can see that's another um resistance region so we're expecting the market to buy till about that region and we're going to wait till we see a bearish reversal candlestick pattern before we go bearish so when it goes bearish we expect it to go bearish real hard because also by then we expect um gold to be buying so of course yes the card goes in the opposite of gold so this week we're expecting gold to sell and we're also so we're expecting um USD card to buy so that's what we're expecting from the market this week if you have a different opinion you can use the comment section if you have any question you can also use the comment section i'll be glad to have the conversation with you like we always say, trading is a highly risky endeavor. You don't venture into trading without sufficient knowledge. If you know you don't have proper knowledge about trading, you don't want to take this trade, you can watch this video for educational purpose and it's going to serve you better than risking your heart and money in something you don't fully understand. If you want to register for a complete forex training, we'll give beginners to advanced classes, ebooks, and lifetime mentorship. Check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can register for a complete forex training. And if you want to subscribe for our signal service, we'll give proper entry, stop loss, and take profit. Also, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can subscribe for our signal service. And if you want a copy of my book, Trading Without Tears, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get the soft copy. If you want the hard copy, send us a direct message to any of our social media handles. You can find our social media handles in the description of this video. Tell us your location. We'll tell you the cost of shipping it once your payment is confirmed. You have the book delivered to you. So that's it from us on this video. I hope you got value. See you in the next video. Bye for now.